What's poppin'? What's poppin', fam? It's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk would request a video from a brother named Never Hungry Again. He asked me to do a, um, a reaction video on Tony Yayo, right? I saw some of the, um, the interview that he did on Vlad. It was pretty much the same old, same of that um, Tony been talking about for years. He has nothing really new, because um, we have new. He ain't making no music in years neither, right? But I like to say it's about Tony Yayo. Tony Yayo is the most loyal, the most loyal rapper in the game. He's the most loyal rapper in the game. Tony Yayo is the type of dude that you want on your team, you know. We need to clone Tony Yayo. Damn sure, you know. We need to clone make a hundred of them, you know, and pass them out, you know what I'm saying? Because he's real loyal, you know what I'm saying? You see he's real loyal to Boo Boo. His childhood friend 50 Cent, Boo Boo, you know what I'm saying? You see how Boo Boo took care of him, right? We ain't bust out with the, um... In the club, 50 said he had to go bring his homies with him. He, he didn't have to go bring Tony Yayo and um, what's the other dude, Lloyd Banks. He didn't have to bring them on. He didn't have to bring them on. But those his homeboys from the hood. He saw opportunity to get them some paper, and that's what he did. So you got to thank 50 for that right there, right, saying? But what 50 mistake was that I believe was putting them L.A. motherfuckers on. Yes, the game. Fuck out of here. We put, um... Young Buck Down had that Southern flavor, you know what I'm saying? And we all like that Southern accent. Why? Because that's where our family come from down south. In the summertime, where did you go to? Did you go to Los Angeles? No, you didn't go to damn L.A. Our family don't come from there. You went down South Carolina and Georgia, North Carolina, things like that. You know what I'm saying, fam? But like I say, when he put down um, the L.A. dude there who had bad intentions before he even signed up with them, you know? Jim Jones said he first met him. He told him, yeah, he going to, you know, try to... Do a job rule on 50. You know what I'm saying? Real ungrateful, sorry piece of shit this dude is, right? That's why he's paying $7 million right now for um them sexual assault charges in that female there. No one's talking too much about that there, right? I'm saying? But anyway, back to Tony Yayo. He's the most faithfulest dude out there, you know what I'm saying? You would never hear him say something bad about 50 because he can't. You know why? Because 50 put $10 million in, in all their pockets. This was years ago. He said, everybody on my team has $10 million in cash. If they broke, they mess it up, that's on them. And that's some true shit, you know what I'm saying? If 50 Cent got some problem with somebody, they got problem with Yayo. That's always been seen. He never um, deterred. He never slacked. He never um, no, he never wavered. He was always, I'm going to stay faithful, no matter what, no matter what. And that's why he will always survive. He will, he will always survive the game of just being himself, you know what I'm saying? Of being himself, you know what I'm saying? We seen when Jimmy the Henchman came down and shot up yeah, your mom's house, you know, why people was inside the house, you know what I'm saying, why he do that, because yeah, your homeboy smacked up little Jimmy Henchman's son, so Jimmy, he don't come back and shoot the house up, you know what I'm saying, his mom is already got that thing there, fuck Jimmy Henchman, they need to let that rotten goddamn jail, people talking about, oh, Jimmy Henchman is going to be released from some goddamn partner from Trump, oh, y'all goddamn stupid, hell no, lock his ass up, keep it, throw away the goddamn key, you know what I'm saying, word up. Yeah, yo, is the most faithless dude out there, you know what I'm saying? You don't see him splurging too much, acting all, no, overboard with his shit there, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure he got nice things, because he earned it. But like I say, he's the most faithless guy in um in the rap game out there. Haven't seen no one stick, stick by their man for all these years without nothing happening. Without saying, oh, he did this, or oh, he messed me over or about some money or about some bitches, any goddamn thing like that. You don't hear that coming out of your toy, yeah, your mouth. He's very content of what he got. You know what I'm saying? He's not looking at 50 cent pockets saying, damn, maybe I could be like him, like his boy Game was. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you put people on, they won't be like you. You know what I'm saying? You can't bite the hand that feeds you. And that's what damn sure Tony yeah, is not doing. He's not biting 50 cent hand, never. So therefore, all he got to do is stay the way he is. 50 cent is going to take care of him for life. For life. You'll never see Tony Yayo yeah, yo, broke on the goddamn streets of Bummy and Dirty. I guarantee that shit. Why? Because 50 Cent gonna take care of him. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna take care of the dudes that's loyal to him. But if you go against 50, he'll cut your ass off. You know how petty his ass is. You see with the son, he ain't taking no slack on his son. That's his name. Mar Marquise's son that look just like him. You know what I'm saying? That look just like him. But if someone get act stupid, you know, and told him I saw an interview, uh, I think Choke No Joke was talking to him. 
He like he act like he's supposed to get more out of life because his father's 50 cent. You know, he's supposed to have this, he's supposed to have that. Those are some little spoiled young motherfuckers there, you know what I'm saying? Women who did shit this goddamn life. They expect his father to live for their damn fathers. You can't do that shit, Marquise. Trying to get you a fucking nine to five, goddammit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Word up. <laughs> I don't know if Tony Ayo got kids. I do not know that. But like I say for he's the most loyal dude in the goddamn game, Tony Ayo. He's um it's, it's one, it was one scene he did go gold. It did go gold with um, not much um, pushback, no kind of publishing, not publishing, marketing, I mean. There was not much marketing, you know what I'm saying? So, therefore, you got to give Tony Yayo his props in the game, definitely, you know what I'm saying? His props in the game. And like I say, for you need to clone Tony Yayo and make more of him because we need more loyal dudes like him. Don't make him no more like Tony Yayo, fam. That's the last of a dying breed. G Unit is the last of a dying breed. You know, for that gangster shit there, the bully shit. 50 Cent, that's him. He's the last one to do that shit there. There's no more coming after doing this bullying shit there. The motherfucker ain't having it, you know what I'm saying? Definitely not. Anyway, fam, that's my little short one for the homie. Never hungry again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm out, fam. Peace.